We are continuing our series on understanding binary in C Sharp with lesson number two. In this video, we're going to go over the basics of binary itself in 10 minutes or less. So here I have Visual Studio 2022. I'm using .NET 8 in a console application. Really, it doesn't matter which version of console application I use. You could use .NET Framework. You could use .NET 9. Really, the this hasn't changed a whole lot over the years, and it, I don't anticipate it changing a whole lot over the next few years. So let's talk first about decimal. So we're not talking about the, the decimal type. We're talking about uh, one, two, three, four, five, or base 10. So this is our normal counting. We have 10 fingers on our hands. So we traditionally think in base 10. So when we count, we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What's the next number? I mean, I'm sure you know, as it's, it's super obvious, right? It's 10, but wait a minute though. I want to point something out. It's really important. And that is that this is actually in some ways two numbers, right? So we have a zero and a one, which we have a one here and technically have a zero before that. So with base 10, what we do is we count zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's all the numbers. And then what we do is when we get to nine, we wanna go one higher, we actually zero out this place and put a one next to it, one zero. And then the next number would be one, one, and so on. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, right? But it's important to think about it from this perspective because when you change bases, it's gonna change how this works, okay? So we're gonna talk about binary, but just know there are other base types like oct or hex, and those are base eight and base 16 respectively. Those are also commonly used in software development and in uh, computers in general. We're gonna talk about binary in this, which is base two. So what happens at base 10 is we switch over on the 10th, on the 10. I mean, we put the a one in the next place. In binary, it's no different. So let's go down here to our binary to, or decimal to binary uh, conversion. So by the way, decimal, D-E-C means 10. Um, so binary to um, oct means eight, hex means 16. Um, anyway, so we're gonna start with one. That's the equivalent. So, you know, you already knew binary because one is one, right? Well, what's two though? Remember we're base two, so we can't have a number two. We only have zero and one. Therefore, we have to move to the next place, just like we did from nine to 10. So you put a one, we put a zero in the first place and a one in the next place. And that's now two in binary. Well, what do we do for three? Well, we have an open number here. So we put one, one, that's three. And what about four? Well, we don't have an open number here. So we have to shift everything over to the next place. Just like if we went to um, 99, we wouldn't put, you know, one nine, you know, one nine nine, we put one zero zero. We shift everything over to that next place and zero out the previous ones. So we're going to shift everything over one by having these two zero out and put a one in the next spot. And so then one zero one is the equivalent of five and one one zero is the equivalent of six and one, one, one is the equivalent of seven. And then again, shifting over one, zero, zero, zero is eight. One, zero, zero, one is nine. And one, zero, one, zero is 10. Do you see the pattern here? It's important you understand the pattern of binary. So we fill up the zeros. So we fill up from right to left. We put a one there. And when that's full, we shift it over to the next available zero and then put a zero behind it. And then we fill that one up. And then when all are full, we shift over one more and we put zeros behind it and so on. That's how binary works. And that's kind of the conversion from decimal to binary, which it's important to note this because when you start to understand how base two works, well, some things kind of open up. And this is what we're gonna talk about later in this course, but I wanna point it out is that we have 
an integer type, right? So we, we just say int test equals, I don't know, five. Okay, that can store a number. We also have a bool type and uh, is active. And what do we put in there? True or false, right? True or false, that's all we can put, which would also be a one or a zero, right? It's binary. Um, it's a bit, we call this. We call each one of these values a bit. So if you're thinking about computers, we talk bytes, well, that's eight bits. So eight of these, which would be essentially that, okay? So that would be eight bits or one byte. Um, and so we talk about bytes in a computer, how many bytes it has, that's the number. And if you actually convert that over, you'll see that's not exactly an even number in base 10 because it's base two and that's different how it works. So when we talk about later in this, in this series, we'll talk about how we can actually treat this number as a series of Boolean values. This one is, this one on the right is off or false. This one is true. This next one is false. And we have true and we have four false in a row. So this could actually be eight different values all in one number. So depending on the place, it's true or false, we've kind of mashed together eight true or false in this example. So we're gonna deal with that and that's gonna be really powerful for how you work. But it's also important to understand these shifts. So we have one and then we shift over one, that's two. The next shift over is at four and the next shift over is at eight. Notice how it doubles every time. One to two, two to four, four to eight, eight to 16, and 16 to 32, and 32 to 64. And if you've ever worked with you know, hard drives or, or uh, file sizes on, on you know, USB drives, something like that, you'll get things like a 256 gigabyte drive. Why is it that number? Because of binary. So, a 64 gigabyte or a 32 or a 16. This is because of binary and how many bits and bytes they're using. So it's important to note that progression here because sometimes you get tripped up thinking about base 10 and going 10, 100, 1000. That's not how binary works. It's a doubling of the number. So that means that just by putting a one in front of this, I have made that number significantly larger. And if I put one more number, it's even more significantly larger because of the fact that it's not just adding a value, we are doubling and multiplying by, you know, times itself because of the fact that, you know, 1,000 and 10,000 are significantly different. And this is 11, well, not 11,000 because it's binary, but you get the, I, the picture, you know, one and then four zeros is significantly larger than one with three zeros. Okay. So just kind of keep that in your head that it's not exactly the same progression we are normally used to when it comes to base 10. Okay. So that's kind of a crash course in decimal to binary and how the differences work. This is important. This is foundational stuff because we're going to be using this going forward when it comes to things like how do we display binary, but then how do we bit shift and how do we add things together and how we flip these bits and so many other things. So that's all coming up next in the series.